ang uh, passage sa sininga aga magahambal sa aton sang sininga kamatuuran that Jesus is the fullness of God's revelation of truth and grace si Jesus ang fullness ang completeness kompleto kag puno nga revelation sang kamaturan kag sang grasya na hanungod initanan sa iya kag sa aton kamaturan na hanungod sa iya kamaturan na hanungod sa aton grasya nagikan sa iya grasya nga aton ginbaton why is christ glorious we ask the question and we will answer that i'll share to you three things by these three things unagit sa sininga passage the word was creating the word was creating second the light was coming and third the sun was communicating ang pag-reveal sang Ginoo na hanungod sa truth and grace are in these three things. The word was creating, the light was coming, and the sun was communicating. Kag ano ni siya ang mga revelation? Ato na pamatian sa mga nagliligad ng mga Domingo na hanungod sang pagsulod ni Jesus, no, diri sa kalibutan. Kag uh, madamo nga beses, no, every time December Kag nagapasalamat kita kay nagaka kita sang mga sang lowly manger. nagaka kita sang lowly shepherds. nagaka kita sang lowly foster parents Mary and Joseph. nagaka kita sang lowly nga genealogy ni Jesus. It seems like nga daw gahambal kita kung kis ano, ahay, no, why sila lugar kag sa nagligad nga Domingo ginpakita sa ato no nga ginlaas pa sila kag gusto pa sila patyon. Nagapasalamat kita because ang Bible naton sa New Testament nagsugod sa apat ka libro, Matthew, of course, nagsugod sa Matthew una, no. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Nagapasalamat kita because kun ibutang naton together ang ilang nga pananaw sa kay Jesus diri naton makit-an kun nano ang himaya ni Jesus. Sa John, in the book of John, wala ikaw sa Christmas story nga mabasahan. Mabasahan mo ng Christmas story, the shepherds, Luke, uh, si Herod, Matthew, sa Mark, wala man Christmas story. Gulpiada lang si Jesus, nag-ubra tayo, no? As a servant. But when you go to the book of John, dirini mo makita ang, pag, ang himaya ni Jesus. Because John did not tell us that here is a lowly baby in a manger. John starts by shocking his first readers. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of man. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. Grabe yung Christmas story, no? Masya ang reader, no? Dahil lang yun, no? Ano gani? Din ang manger. Hindi umakit ang manger. Ah, bina to, no? Amo lang to siya. Lowly baby. John tells us, kaginsyak niyang iyang readers, by the way, the first readers of the book of John were Greeks and Jews. Mga Hudiyo, kagindi mga Hudiyo. Sa mga mangin alamon, nagpaminsar sila, no? Ang ginsuguran sang kalibutan, amo ini, no? Kaginafilosophize nila. That's why amo ni siya ang ginggamit ni John nga pulong. Ang word nga pulong mismo. Kung nagaminsar kita kung ano ang natabuos ang ginsuguran, I will tell you what happened in the beginning. Kag sa iya nga mga audience, nga mga Hudiyo, they very well know the first book in the Bible tells us of the creation story. That's why paghambal, paghambal ni John, in the beginning, 
it's very familiar to them. What was in the beginning? There was creation in the beginning. And this is what I want to tell you. Kung basaw ni mong John chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1, the first few verses, you will not miss the parallel. Hindi mo ma-miss kag makita mo gid it seems like ang ginahambal ni John was Genesis chapter 1. Kag ang mga Hudyo nagahambal sila, yes ang Dios ang nagtuga. But John introduces a different person. And it seems like oh yes we already know gapati kami mga Hudyo, gapati kami ang Dios ang nagtuga. Pagsulod ni John, ginambalan niya ang mga Jewish readers. Sa ginsuguran ang nagtuga the creative power of God. In fact, in the Old Testament, the redemptive power of God in His Word is actually a person. And He is the Word. And He was with God. And not only was He with God, He was God. So, amu pa lang na, actually, masimba ka na siya, no? This is not, uh, this is not the Small little child. Ang iningagin pili niya was the entrance. But this person was actually the creator. So the word was creating. Sa, naga, sa mga Greeks, sa mga philosophers, nga nagpaminsar, ano ato ang natabo sa ginsuguran? Well, I will tell you, sa ginsuguran was actually the word creating. Hindi lang ang word nag-create. Siling sa aton nga Bible, no? In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Hindi lang siya ang nagtuga, wala sang may gintuga nga natuga nga hindi paagi sa iya. Kag sa iya ang kabuhi, kag ini nga kabuhi, amuni siya ang kapawa. Buot silingon, ang nagasustain sang kabuhi, hindi lang siya nagtuga, kundi siya man ang nagasustain sang kabuhi. Kalupang doon naton mga kauturan, ano ang kamatuuran diri? Ang kamatuuran na hanungod sa Diyos amuni. Ang Diyos ang manunuga. Makita naton in John chapter 1 that this God is or has plurality in his personhood. And in one, one of the persons diri gina reveal sa ato no? The Son of God, Jesus Christ, the Word. Creator gali. So, kung creator siya, ano kita? Created. Kung created, kung sustainer siya, ano kita? Kita ang ginasustain. Mga kauturan, nagapungko kita dira, no? Kamu. Nagapaminsar kita. Damo kita ginapaminsar. Sa sininga si Mana, maano kami. Paano natun mabalik ang kalipay? Nagapaminsar kita, no? Paano to man? Ano to sang una? Mas nami amuni. Nagastruggle, no? Damo-damo kita sa mga levels ng mga kasubo. Kag ang sabat sang Bible, hindi circumstantia. Ang sabat sang Bible is a person. The person of Christ. Kung tanawo na to, no? Sa pagkamatuod lang gid, no? Kung, ang, kung kita ginasustain sang Diyos, Nakapamalandong ka mo nga kung hindi ka man gid mapatay sa COVID, nagapamalandong ka nga mapatay ka gid? Or wala? Ay, maayo lang, no? Wala, hindi ko mapatay sa COVID. I-grant ko abi sa imo, no? Hindi ako Diyos, no? Hypothetical lang. I-grant ko abi sa imo. Hindi ka gid mapatay sa COVID. Bisan ano himuon mo? Bisan malagaw ka sa mall, adlaw-adlaw. Alasay sang agara ka na, no? Sirado pa. Hindi ka maano sa covid Pero mga kauturan, at one point, mapatay ka git. If it's not COVID, you will still die. The truth, the truth of this is telling us that the Word was creating, the Word also was sustaining life. In Him was life, and the life was the light of man. Ang kamatuuran nagapakita sa aton, nga bisan pa ikaw buhi, kung hindi mo nakilala ang ininga person, there is actually no light in you. There's no light you can't see. You are blind. And later I will talk more about that. Actually, if you look at John 1, 1 to 18, my pattern, you know, he presents and then he tells about John. There is a witness, a man sent from God whose name was John. He was not the light, but he came as a witness to the light so that everyone might believe through him. 
He is not the light, but he is a witness about the light. And then naghambal siya. I think verse 6. Is it verse 6? The true light, which enlightens everyone. Number one, the word was creating. Number two, the light was coming. The true light that enlightens everyone was coming into the world. Kun magsiling kita, the light is coming. Are we all rejoicing? Yes! Brown out. Do wala sa may nag-rejoice sa brown out, no? Uh, labi na subong. Ako, <laughs> ako subong, no? Teacher ako. Nagatudlo ako online. Kagang isa sa mga pinakasadya nga matabo kung mag-brown out. Sa muna yung brown out, wala na yung pakialam sa amo, no? Uh, ginot lang pro maklasi ko gyapon niya. Bisa nagapala malhas, no? Makasulat ko yung gyapon sa board. Subong, mag-brown out. Pang! Makita mo, no? Ang tanan nga mga teachers, nagagulua, no? Makita mo sa field, nagagulua. Why may ubrahon? Why tamahin mo? Brown out, no? Kung mautod ang internet, pang! Why na? Gasala ang mga tao, no? There's darkness, wala sang power. Are we excited about the light? Masyak kita sang revelation, yung basa natin sa John chapter 1. The light that was coming enlightens everyone. And though the world was made by him, the world did not know him. Grabbing a description. The word was creating, the light was coming, apang sang pag-abot sang light. Although the world was created, the world was made by him, the world did not know him. And John puts it even deeper. Sa naghambal siya, he came to his own, and his own did not receive him. Ano ni siya nga revelation, mga kauturan? Ang kamatuuran, sang ginoo mo ni, ang Diyos kapawa. He is light, and he is coming to us, people who are in darkness. Apang, hindi lang kita sa darkness. We are blind. In fact, we are so blind that we don't even know what the light is. We are so blind and we are in darkness. Imagine, no? Ang double darkness, no? Bulag ka na, ara ka pa sa kadudulman, hindi mo ma-identify ang kapawa, kay why ka gani ka ba? Luko na no ang kapawa. John chapter 3 tells us, light was coming into the world. This is the judgment. The light has come into the world. People love darkness. This is a revelation sang ginuo nga nagkari para sa aton, but we are in darkness. Kag sa iya nga pagkari, wala natun siya natalupang dan, hindi natun siya nakita. Now, why is this very important? Because the next verse tells us, But to those who receive Him, to those who believe in His name, He gave them the right to become children of God. And then, ang nagapung ko, dira masiling, no? Te, child of God, git kuya. Kaya nga, nag-receive, git kuya. Nag-believe, git kuya. As if, kunari ka di sa simbahan, kag nagtuo ka kay Jesus, kag ginbaton mo siya, as if ang gahom na galin sa imo. John tells us, children of God, born not of human flesh, or born not out of the will of man, but the will of God. Sin o ang nag sa atong to be born again. We are blind. We are in darkness. And the reason why we can see the light is because God opens our eyes. It is not our capability to have our eyes open so we will desire light. We don't desire light. That's why kung ikaw, Kristohanon, nag-receive ka kay Jesus, nag-believe ka sa iyang nga manluluwas ni mo, wala ikaw sang may mapabugal. Wala. Ako yan nag-receive. Kamu ya wala? Ay na ano man? Hindi nyo maintindihan how? Hindi. Bisan ako hindi ka intindi. Wala sa atun sa magasik sa iya. That's why we are born out of the will of God. 
Is that not a reason to thank the Lord? Nabuksan ng ako ni mata from darkness, even from my blindness, I see the light. Because God, the light, has come. The light was coming, but not only was the light coming. Tanawo na to, no? Verse 14. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory. The glory of the only Son, a begotten Son, full of grace and truth. Ano ang kamatuuran nga ginapakita dari sa aton? Ang kamatuuran nga ginapakita dari sa aton ang Dios nagkari. I would say God has stepped in and stooped down. God in his grace has stepped in and stooped down to reach you. Kag nagupod siya, nagpuyo siya upod sa aton. By the way, Ang ini nga mga terminolohiya no ang ini nga uh, paminsaron grabe ni ang iyang uh, grabe ni iya pagpabalik sa aton in the old testament no kun sa di nakit anila ang himaya sang Ginoo kag ang Ginoo nagupod sa ila nagpuyo sa ila kag uh, wala ko na ginahimo-himo no because right after verse 15 we are told about Moses this is a reference a very strong reference in the book of Exodus Nga ang Dios nagupod sa ila, ang sa pagupod sang Dios sa ila, the, ang God was in a tent, in a tabernacle. Pero nakit anila ang himaya sang Ginoo. Incomplete, but they saw that God was with them. You can read the last two, three verses of Exodus, Exodus chapter 40. Dira ni mo makita kung paano ang Dios mismo nag Upod sa ila. But there was incompleteness. Bangod ang ininga pamaagi sang ginoo, paagi lang gid sa kay Moses. And without the intercession of Moses, wala. Wala sa may matabo. Sulito na kon. Si Jesus, mga kauturan, ang full nga revelation sang ginoo na hanungod sa kamatuuran kag sa grasya niya. Wala sang dapat idugang kay Jesus. Wala kag hindi pwede madugangan si Jesus. The last word that God has spoken to humanity is in the person of Jesus. No one can add to his person and say, I have something better to tell you. Gastragol ko subong, no? Gastragol ko because subong, gabaha ang mga prophecies. And there are people coming out that this is the word that comes from God. If that word supersedes Jesus, that is not the word that comes from God. The final word is Jesus. He needed no other one. Hebrews chapter 1, Colossians chapter 1, wala sang dapat idugang sa kay Jesus. Mas may grabe pang a prophet sa kay Jesus. Mas may grabe pang a priest sa kay Jesus. This is also the time. Kita subong no, ara kita. I think this is the most used word. Pandemic is the most used word in 2020. Almost everyone says the word. Pandemic. And people are grasping for hope. For hope. Kagano aton nga ginapangita, nagapangita kita sa word nga magakomfort sa aton, kag madamo sa aton nagapati sa mga false nga mga prophets. The final prophet as the scripture reveals is Jesus and Jesus alone. He is the final word. Wala sang final word. Please as a church, don't seek for one that is greatest among all the prophets. Wala na. He is the final word. Naminami sa ngayang ending, no? The word was creating. The light was coming. The sun was communicating. Anong iyang nga communicate? The law came through Moses. But grace and truth. Sorry, no? I mentioned the word but. I think it's the King James that uses the word but. But grace and truth in Jesus. Some translations, ginabutangan lang nila semicolon. Hindi siya contrast. Hindi contrast si Jesus sa kay Moses. The law came through Moses. Grace and truth 
sa kay Jesus. Nga nga hindi siya contrast. Uh, when, I, when we say contrast, ah, tapos na to. Why na to? Pigaw to. May mak makasiling kita, no? Nga incomplete sa kay Moses, but actually the story sa kay Moses nag-point sa kay Jesus. Why? Because in Exodus, it was also, this is also a book that tells us kung sino ang Diyos. Sino ang Diyos? Kagin pakita sa Diyos kung sino siya paagi sa iyang kasuguan. Kagin pakita niya na through the mediation of Moses. Kagin pakita niya kay, sa mediation ni Moses, paagi sa kasuguan, pero nakita naton nga ang tao, kagang iyang mga katawahan, na fail. Nga na fail sila. Wala sang makay makaperfect sang kasuguan. Kag di rin nagasulod ang person ni Jesus. Jesus comes and perfects the law. What the law cannot accomplish, Jesus comes, accomplishes the law. The truth about us is that we cannot accomplish the law. The truth about Jesus is He alone can accomplish the law. And because He can accomplish the law, the grace that we receive, kung magatuo kita sa iya, is that His righteousness is imputed on us. Ang iyang pagkamatarong ibutang sa aton tungod sa iya nga ginhimo. Wala sang may nakakita sa ginoo from his fullness, look at verse 16. From his fullness, we received grace upon grace. Kanam inami sila nga phrase, no? Sa fullness ni Jesus, aton na baton, grace upon grace. Ayawan ni sila translate. Ayawan man ni sila pangita sang picture. Dumu damo picture makita mo no? When you say from his fullness we have received grace upon grace, amo ni siyang ang picture yano. The waterfalls nga naga cascade nga naga tupa sa imo. Nga wala pa nakatapos ang isa tupa, may ara naman sa likod niya. Kabalo ka kun magtupa ni matupa pa gini sa likod. Pag matupa pa gini sa likod. I will always remember the story of the book of Ru in the book of Ruth. Just briefly. May kinanglanon sila. Kag sa madamo nga tinion ang Ginoo nagamit sa aton sa aton mga pagkinanglan. Kag karon mga offering kita no, pasalamat kita kay ginamit kita sa Ginoo sa aton mga pagkinanglan. But God does not just meet what we need. God meets what we really need. Ang ang tsura ni sang fullness of grace upon grace. I, I think makita ko ni sa book of Ruth no. Napatyan siya, just make the long story short, si Naomi napatyan, si yang bata ang mga lalaki, sang iyang husband, kag nagpalagyo, nag wala palagyo, naglakat sila kay gutom no, tigulutom sa Bethlehem. So anong ilang ang kinanglanon? Tinapay. This is grace upon grace. Nagbalik si Naomi kabugat sang iyang heart. In fact, naghambal siya in chapter 1, don't call me Naomi, pleasant, call me Mara, bitter, because the Lord dealt heavily upon me. His hand was heavy upon me. Kagamunan ning tsura ko subong. Do you know what God provided? There was a harvest. Kay tungod may harvest, may pagkaon. Nakita nyo? Kinanglanon ko pagkaon, pigado gid. Nag-provide ang Ginoo sang harvest, but silingon may pagkaon. Pero hindi lang pagkaon ang gin-provide niya. Nagpadala siya sang iya nga daughter-in-law, amo ni si Ruth, kun sa diin siya ang mag magpangwato no? Mag hindi man ani, pero magbulig sa iya. So nagpadala siya sang harvest, nagpadala siya sang daughter-in-law para makakuha to siya sang mga portion sang harvest. Wala lang siya nagpadala sang daughter-in-law, may nakilala ang daughter-in-law ya nga tag iya sang duta, nga naghatag sa iya sang hindi lang kinanglanon niya nga pagkaon kundi sobra pa halin sa lamisa. Kag hindi lang ang pagkaon nga sobra nga halin sa lamisa, ang ini nga tawo gali ila nga relative. Kag hindi lang relative ang ining tawo, kinsman redeemer gali siya. Kag hindi lang siya kinsman redeemer, willing siya magpangasawa sa kay Ruth. Kag hindi lang siya willing magpangasawa sa kay Ruth, willing siya nga maghatag sang bata sa kay Ruth, nga magapadayon sang linya ni Naomi. Kag hindi lang na willing niya nga i-give up ang iya nga manggad para magapadayon ang linya ni Naomi kag sa katapusan sa nagwa ang bata ni Ruth naghambal Sila nga ini nga bata was actually the kinsman redeemer. Bata nga nagdala sang kalipay balik sa kay Naomi. Kag ang ina nga bata dira man na naghalin si Jesus. Suliton ko para makuha ta no. 
Anong kinanglan niya? Tinapay, gutom. Anong ginatag sa ginoo sa iya? Opportunity. Anong ginatag sa ginoo sa iya? Hindi lang opportunity, kundi makita iya pagkita ang grasya sa ginoo. Sa so, nakita iya ang grasya sa ginoo, ang grasya sa ginoo, it goes beyond the person. It goes beyond, beyond, beyond. This is the fullness of God's grace coming upon us. Grace upon grace so that in the end, ang pinakadako, dako nga wave nga magatupa sa aton mga kauturan is not the 13th month or the 14th month in some companies. But it is the person of Jesus. Amoni ako nyan need. Amoni ako nyan need. Look about, think about this. Amoni ako nyan need. Gusto ko magayo. Gusto ko magayo. Amoni gusto matabo. Ginaayu ka. Ginaayu ka sa ginoo until you finally sing ang tutuon yung pagayu ara kay Jesus. Magapigado kita ako. Taga anta ka taga kaya may nagabulik sa imo. May nagabulik sa imo pero wala sa pagbulik sa imo that will always be enough in this world. Until you find that the ultimate hope that you can ever get is Jesus Himself, and you will be satisfied. May kasubo ako pa dalanta ka sa friend, pa dalanta si mo ang friend. Until you see that your friend, that your ultimate friend, is the one who has come to die for you. Ay kinang lano ko sa family, tani may family nga magsa pupu sa akon, kikala yu sa akon sa akon nga Christmas wala ko di upod. Until you finally see. That you are admitted in the family of God because of the work of Jesus. Bring this with you. In His fullness, we receive grace upon grace. Asta pasubong and asta magbalik si Jesus. In His fullness, wala sang may nakakita sa Dios except the one, the only God at the bosom of the Father. He has declared him. What was the son communicating? Ano ang gin communicate sang son? The word was creating. The light was coming. The son was communicating. Ano ang iya gin communicate? Chapter two of John. The joy in the feast is Jesus. Only Jesus can turn water into wine. In the same chapter, he is the person that says destroy this temple and in three days i will build i will rebuild it he was talking about his body in john chapter 3 the the raised bronze serpent this is the fullness of grace this is grace upon grace that when the just like the serpent was raised in numbers 21 so the son of man or the son of god will also be raised and when you look to him you will be saved John chapter 4, Sin o ang tutuod nga nag-satisfy, Sin o ang living water, Jesus. Chapter 5, Sin o ang healer nga tutuod, Jesus. Chapter 6, you go to chapter 6, and they already know the story about the manna provided in the desert. But everyone who ate sang tinapay sa disyerto, nagkalamatay sila tanan. Pero paglambot mo sa John chapter 6, Jesus comes and says, Ako ang tinapay sang kabuhi. Kung magkaon ikaw sa akon, kung maginum ka sa akon niya dugo, hindi ikaw mapatay. The fullness of God's revelation. In chapter 7, Come to me, those who are thirsty. In chapter 8, he says, I am the light of the world. That's why in chapter 9 of John, he opened the eyes of the blind. He is the light of the world. In John chapter 10, ginareveal sa ginoo kung sin o siya in the person of Jesus. Ang Psalm 23 nga ginabasa natin, favorite Psalm. We are told that the great and good shepherd is Jesus. And in chapter 11, Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead and Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Nakita niyong revelation sa ginoo? Gamat amat. Pag sa chapter 12, he enters Jerusalem. But he did not only enter Jerusalem. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We actually enter into Jesus' heart. And you open up and see what's inside his heart. 18, he was betrayed. 19, he was crucified. 20, he is raised from the dead. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is the fullness of God's revelation. And in chapter 21, Jesus says, Come, follow me. Tanawang ending sang John. Kung ang tanan, nga bagay, nahanungod sa kay Jesus, ginsulat. The entire world 
will not be enough for all the books na isulat. That is the glory of Jesus. If someone writes my autobiography, may tao bing masulat sa akong kabuhi, no? Tapos ginabutang ang record, no? Sold. Two copies. Two copies. Ako na asawa, siguro nagbakal. Isa sa mga bata ko. Ang duwa, wala pa. Two copies. Doon ka namin, isang feeling, no? Nagsulat ko sang libro, no? Sold. Two million copies. Ako niya, autobiography. Sold. Two copies. No one's really interested. Jesus! All the books in this world cannot contain what could be written about Him. That is the glory of Jesus. The Word was creating, ang kamaturan, create, cre creature, creature, creature kita. Yeah, ako pronounce. Number two, the light was coming. But this light is not only the light that has come, this light has opened our eyes so that we will see Him as the real light. Jesus communicates the glory of God because He is God Himself. Kung wala siya, hindi naton mahangpan kung ano kagsino ang ginoo, kung ano kagsino kita. Ang Christmas, kag ang glory ni Jesus, hindi ni mo ma-separate. Kag ang mga pinakanami sa glory ni Jesus, no? Because it is only in Jesus that you see the perfection of mercy and might. Grabe nga glory, no? Mercy and might. Humility and power. Din mo na makita. You can see that in any person. It's either you see one powerful person or one very meek person. But in Jesus, you see both. That's why He is called the Lion and the Lamb. Uh, sino makatupong sa sina nga majesty? Mga kauturan, wala ako sang kalipay nga mahatag sa inyo sininga Christmas. But if your heart is attuned to the glories of Jesus, there is no other joy that you can ever experience. Ang aton kabuhay will always find lack. Your life will always find lack. Nagahope kita sa 2021. Oh, ari naman, mamati na mga mo sa feng shui da. Nagpala, nag-go sila sa tanan, subong matuig. Kaya doon sa lahat, tanan naging pangambal nila sang 2019. No, managtakop. No, ang tuig. So, nag- uh, Nagpala, nag-go sila. I don't know kung magulua sila, no? Subong. There will always be lack. There will always be trouble. When will this be over? When will this be over? But I think the Lord wants us to see that the fullness of His revelation is in Jesus. In His fullness, we have received grace upon grace. Kanami dalon sa balay, no? Puli kita, no? December 24. Sa una lang, isa may unod, subong wala. In His fullness, there is grace upon grace. Kanami, siguro, no? Ay, isang una, obdanay kami, subong hindi. In His fullness, I receive grace upon grace. Let's meditate on that. Wala, no? We cannot, no leader can give you this. Except the one who has died for you. In His fullness, in the fullness of Jesus, we receive grace upon grace. Kung amuna, should we be happy? Should we be thankful? If you're not, you don't see Him. Pangamuyuan naton, nga buksan sa ginoong aton mga huna-huna, that we will see the light. Kag makasiling kita, yes! Whatever 2021 looks like, or will look like, in the fullness of Jesus, I have received grace upon grace. Magapangamuyo kita. Lord, salamat sang himaya ni Jesus. Nga, I think, Lord, kung tuluko namon, just like the sun, mabulag kami gino. It's too bright. His light is too bright. Kag kung wala siya gino, nag-veil sa iyang self. Wala siya, nag-come into flesh. Mapatay, makamitanan gino sa iyang pagkari. But He came as a baby through a lowly foster parents 
through a lowly manger, ginveil niya ang iyang majesty. Kag nagkabuhi siya sa perfect life, napatay siya to be our substitute, and he rose from the dead physically, so that we too will be raised in the newness of life. Lord, kabay pa, ano man ang amon ginatubang sa sininga tuig, or alatubangon sa dason nga tuig, o kon sa kabudlayan, sininga si mana, ay han, nag-mix ang amon ng mga tagipusoon na hanungod sa mga celebrations. Kabay pa, magadulot sa amon tagipusoon ang verse 16, nga sa fullness ni Jesus, nakabaton kami sa grace upon grace upon grace upon grace. When we look at Him, we know we are also full. Kabay pa, hindi lang ni siya Lord mangin fury, kundi mangin matuod gid sa amon nga kabuhi. That's why makagwa kami sa sininang nga duog, mapinasalamaton, nagasimba sa imo, tugon na hang panamon ang imo nga grasya. Salamat, ginoo, nagapasalamat kami sa iya, sa kay Jesus, the glorious Christ, the final word, in His name I pray. Amen.